One thing my parents uh, helped me with, you know, to shape the person who I am today is when I was a child, they always gave me many opportunities to pursue. I've, I've never done one thing. So, for example, I played the piano, I played baseball, I played basketball, I swam, I ran track, and, you know, anything that was active, I was doing it. They would always challenge me to build and create things and use my creativity and, and teach me how to solve problems. You know, they never gave me the answers. And I remember when I was a kid, I always got so frustrated. I was like, Mom, like, Dad, you know, why can't you just tell me? They go, I want you to learn how to figure it out on your own. And I feel like that's why I'm able today to be able to go after something like playing football with not having any experience because I have the ability to teach and train myself how to do that because that's kind of a skill that my parents um, taught me how to do at such a young age and you know people are like how can you just go out there and do something you absolutely have no idea what you're doing and I'm like well it, all the information you need is out there if you just look for it. A few people out there that knew the path I was pursuing would would say other things instead of encouraging me. They would, you know, tell me it wouldn't be the right thing to do, or it's not in my best interests. Interests, or they wouldn't help me go towards my goal. And one thing I would say is, it's all about your focus. If you focus on the negative aspects in your life, it's going to consume you to produce a negative outcome but if you focus on the positive feedback that you're getting in all your friends that are supportive and listen to them and apply that to your everyday life you are going to see a positive outcome with whatever you put your work in and honestly the final thing that made me finalize and play football is I made 
a note internally and I said, if I'm gonna do something with my life, I'm gonna do it for me and I'm gonna make sure that I'm happy. And previously I was at a nine to five job and I was working for somebody else to make that person more successful. And I felt like I had no purpose. And I said, if I was to die today, what did I accomplish? I, didn't, I couldn't answer that question. So I said, I'm gonna go out there and do what I need to do for myself and make sure that I'm happy and then I will be able to transfer that experience to somebody else who's struggling with whatever they need help with. You know, after about three months of emailing every coach in the, the eastern side of the United States, somebody emailed me back and was like, hey Eli, I want you to try out and see, see what you got. And by that time I've been training for a year and you know, I was I was ready mentally, I was ready physically, and you know, this is what I worked for. And I went out there and I, I did my best I could possibly do. And you can kind of feel that energy when you know you're doing well in a tryout. And I felt it the entire tryout. I wasn't nervous, I wasn't scared, I was confident because I know that I put the work in to be here and I know I put the work in to excel in this tryout. And you know, after that they talked to me and they said, hey, like, we definitely like you. We think we're gonna sign you. We just want you to work on little things here and there. And, you know, I'll see you at training camp. And, you know, I, I was in tears because I was so proud of myself that, you know, I actually stuck with it, you know, because there were so many times where I wanted to quit and give up because people made it seem like I was insane or, I was crazy or I was out of my head because I never played football before. I mean, think about it, what would you do if somebody told you they wanted to be an artist and they never sung a song their entire life? You would be like, you don't have the experience. And you sat home and you worked hard every single day, day in and day, day in and night for a year and you came back to them and said, this is what I want to do, look what the work I've put in. Like, you would be super impressed. and. I feel like that's how my coach felt, like he saw how persistent I was, he saw how aggressive I was in the amount of emails I sent him and times I called the team, like that is what I want to do, I was so hungry and you know, I did it.